There's something about the little ones when they're scared. It just stops me in my tracks. I'll tell you though, there's a moment towards the end of this video where he starts to come around and it might be one of my favorite moments yet. Okay, let's go in and see if we can show him a little comfort. Hi, can I come in? Let's go around you. It's okay, we'll go real slow. Sorry, my foot's so big. It's okay. Here, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go over here. I'm over here. You're okay. I'm over here. The kennel shut is always so loud. Okay. Normally I try not to take their blanket, but I think I'll just... I still want to put down my own blanket. Let me grab one. Let me get this little one set up first. You know, I never want to take anything from the dog because they have so little. And I don't know how long this little one's been here. But probably not very long. I'm going to move this over here, Munchkin. And I'm going to sit as far away as I can from you. Okay, okay. The first thing I want to do in the space is just get this little one comfortable with me in here. You know, they're obviously not, but start working towards that. Turn away. It's really hard, I think, when you see a little dog like this in this state because because they are so small. I mean, most dogs are smaller than us, but it just highlights the frailty of dogs and how much they depend on us and how much they don't have a voice. And the first thing that I want to do when I come in here, and if you're watching this video, you probably want to do too, is pick up the dog and just grab the dog. The reason you don't see me sitting with small dogs as much is because they get adopted faster, typically. But that's not the case right now. Uh, for some reason, the shelter is full of small dogs. And so I'm jumping in to help where I can. And no matter what, this little dog right here is just less likely to get adopted because you want a happy, fun-loving dog. You see a dog in this state, people just pass these dogs by. You might not because you're an avid dog lover. But people that have never had a dog before, they may not know that or see that or feel that. They'll just pass the dog by and then the dog won't get adopted. And then they'll continue to just spin. And the cycle starts, right? Where they're scared, they don't get adopted, they become more fearful of people, they disappear farther into the back of the kennel, their behavior starts to regress. It just, it just cycles in the wrong direction, spins out of control. Oh, but why I'm not picking up this little bunchkin. It's kind of like this. If you've ever been pushed around by somebody bigger than you, it doesn't feel good. I think sometimes we forget with little dogs, we, we come in and we scoop them up or we, we move them around. And I've done this. This is something I've learned over the years. I think my little kiddos have helped a lot with this. You really have to respect their size. Come, coming from a six foot four, 200 and something pound person, I have to respect sizes. Especially with dogs, right? They don't know they're little. <laughs> they, they, the Great Danes think they're the Chihuahuas, and the Chihuahuas think they're the Great Danes. If you look really closely, this little, little one is giving me eye contact. It's like little nuggets of side eye contact. We're going to go in for a treat to just start, start seeing if we can loosen up this relationship a little bit. We're going to go in for a treat, just a little treat. I'm, I'm hoping this one wants treats. Or a girl, boy, I think, based off the blue collar. But sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes they do, the intake team just grabs whatever collar they can because uh, they're in a in a hurry or they're out. But based off his fear state, I'd say he's unlikely to take treats from me. But if I can get him to, it'll help a lot. My treats are the gateway to friendship. But I don't know if you can see it in this video. His little back leg is just shaking. It's like a salt shaker right now, you know? Oh, breaks my heart. I'm going to try to put a treat a little closer to him. I mentioned this in some of my videos, but I think it's important to note that I I sound 
you know, you can kind of hear the AI sometimes on the microphone, and that's because the the volume of all of the dogs barking in the shelter is often overwhelming. Some shelters you go into also the smell. Here they do great cleaning, and, and that's just not the case most of the time. I mean, sometimes if a dog just pee, <laughs> it's got a smelly pee. But you know, the noise is hard. It's hard, and it just stresses everyone out: dogs, people, cats. And they separate that as much as they can. They dampen it, dampen it as much as they can, but it just makes it hard. So the reason I sound funny is we put AI over this so you can hear my voice and not the barking. So you can watch the videos with your dog. And it's sad. Sometimes you hear dogs crying and a lot of times people say, well, why don't you help that dog? I want to help all the dogs. I'll give you an idea of the volume of this shelter. Um, last year alone, they had some 12,000 pets come through here. There's a lot. It's hard to get to all of them, but the cool thing is together we're making an impact on one at a time and it matters. It does matter. I don't think we're treat motivated or or the fear is just too big of a hurdle to get over right now. You can see, especially with that tucked tail and that shaking. Can I hand you this dog bed? Of course. I might get it back from you here in a minute, but I'm just clear it a little bit. We've got to get this dog out of the state a little bit. So we're going to try a couple different things because I think I could sit here for eight hours and I don't think he's going to move. He's frozen in fear. It's well known that dogs typically have a fight or flight response, but I think that's so limiting in its kind of definition because there's also, you know, there are others, but, but freeze is just as great. And the trouble with freeze is it's hard to move past anything. So let's see what we'll try a little affection. It could go a long way. We'll see how he reacts to it. He may not like that affection. I'm going to look away a little bit. Just a little, just a little touch. You know, some dogs like scratches on their head. Some like scratches on the bum. Some like scratches everywhere. <laughs> so finding that spot that might be comforting or at least agitating is helpful. I do think though we're going to see a really neat transformation. Like I believe, and I come in not setting that as the expectation because I'm going to let him move at his pace. Okay. So that's good. You know, little dogs, like people ask me if I, if I ever have a dog bite, I've had dog bites, certainly. And it's why I move so slow. So you're like, just pet that dog. The dog wants to be pet. Oh, I've done that before. And that dog does not want to be pet. So I go, I go fairly slow, but with little dogs, they're the biters. And so right there, the fact that he's not uh, showing teeth or lashing out may not mean he's comfortable with it, but he's okay. He's not, he's not angry about it. Bye, right, little guy. And little guy. Does that feel good? Hey, that doesn't feel so bad, huh? Hodge is okay. That's pretty good, huh? And it's just little bits at a time, you know? It's kind of, okay, a little bit of scratches, back away, let him let him process that. Okay, that was okay. No harm came to me. Kind of felt good. In fact, I wouldn't mind another, please. <laughs> Maybe not the please, but... He's a very wiry haired dog. It's fun when dogs are velvety soft and stuff, but it's also fun when they've got that wiry, you know, dog hair. We got a lot more eye movement, just him processing things, which is good. He's still showing the white of his eyes, which just is fair. I think a little head rub could go around way. So let, let's see if we can. I that feel good. Okay, that's the spot, huh? Okay, he's a head scratcher, not a bum scratcher. <laughs> it's almost like he's looking at the camera like, do they, do they see me? Is anyone looking? It feels good. I don't want to admit it, but it feels good. It feels good. He's a good dog. He's got cute hair, doesn't he? I, I'm a, here, we'll, scrap, we'll give him a head scratch one more time, and I'll give him a little mohawk on the way out. I love how he's like watching in the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> If you good, good, little mohawk. Yeah, yeah, cool, dude. Uh, I've been putting treats in front of him. I'm going to try to hand him a treat. Sometimes it changes the dynamics just a little bit. No. Oh. 
you're breaking my heart, bud. I just want you to be able to relax enough to enjoy a treat. He's not eating any of his food. I'm sure it's just stress, obviously. Hadn't touched his water. I do, in the time that I'm in here, push it a little bit because the stakes are just so high. Like, if we can get him to break out of this, hey, and he's more likely to get adopted, it, it could be life-saving. But look at those eyes. I mean, what are, like, the the ideal dog? If, you, if you're looking for a small dog, I mean, he, he looks like he should be in a commercial, like a stock photo, you know? You want to star in a dog food commercial, buddy? You can star in my dog treat commercial, although you need to probably eat the treats. <laughs> You need another head scratch? I bet he probably likes a little neck scratch right in here too. We'll, we'll try. He's hugging that wall. And that 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 is what just gets me when they hug that wall. When that's their, the, a cold hard wall is their safety zone. That's what I want to get him out of. But let's try the neck here. The neck's tough. You got to get the right spot. So if you can get that right spot, that, that back leg will go from shaking to thumping. We are making some progress. It may seem small, but it's it's big progress. But I tell you what, here in a minute, we're going to get his story from Alexis. I wonder if there's not something to his story that gives us a little more details as to why he's in here and so so scared. And then we're going to tell him what a good dog he is and give him some positive affirmations to break him out of this. I suspect that by the end of this video, and again, it's not doesn't have to happen, but I suspect by the end of this video, we're going to be able to do the scoop. When you write, scoop them up, give them some love, if they want it. How old is he? So he's only about a year old. He's very young. Yeah, you can tell. He's a puppy. You know, uh, small dogs, uh, their puppyhood can last longer. Uh, and he's still such a year for him. He's still such a puppy. Especially because, you know, these kind of dogs don't know exactly. But like if he lived 15 to 18 years, would not be a surprise. Um, okay, year old. Do we uh, microchip? There is no microchip and no collar. Ah, man. Okay. What, What? if anything, do we know? So the way he was found was by a good Samaritan. He was found running near Albertsons, just around by himself alone. They're thinking he's possibly from one of the apartments close by. Oh. Um, but they did know he was shivering a lot so found at albertson's you know I, I always wonder in those situations if like because I've, I've seen this before if someone dumped him at albertson's because they wanted him to be in a crowded area so someone would find him and they just you know boom, right outside the car or put him in front of the grocery store or if he was so hungry and scared and, and going to a crowded area and trying to find help. I don't know. Either way, it's heartbreaking. I mean, imagine seeing this guy running around at, at Albertsons or Kroger or Ralph's or H-E-B, whatever grocery store you shop at. You could just imagine like seeing this little dog and going, I want to help. I would, I mean, I don't know. It could be dumped because he didn't have a collar or a microchip. Like most little dogs like this would have a little collar or a microchip or something. Sometimes people try to sell puppies too if they're short on cash and they'll do it in a crowded area like a grocery store and they can't get it. They just want the dog. Also, it is springtime. So that means there's even more little dogs and puppies running around right now in and out of shelters. So that doesn't help. What Alexis means by that is so in springtime, there's a lot of seasonality to shelters and dog rescues. And so you just get more puppies in the spring. It creates overcrowding with shelters. So when people try to go return dogs to shelters or they call rescues or shelters, those rescues or shelters go, hey, we're full. And then people feel like they have no options left. And then they dump the dog. Obviously, jerks, like, don't do that. But the, I, you know, I have, I have empathy for someone who, is in a situation and doesn't know what to do and is making phone calls and is trying to do the right thing and feels like they have no options left and then doesn't know where to go from there. But I hope, I hope videos like this allow that person to fight a little bit harder, try to find options because 
you know, you, you see the state that a dog like this is in and you go, you know what? Okay. I'm going to keep trying because it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The, just what this guy's little psyche is having to go through emotionally and physically. And I think I'm going to try to you know, stretch him a little bit, but I think, well, he's not too skinny. I thought maybe he, his, he had skinny hips, but we'll try in a minute. We'll see if he'll get up. I don't think he's like going to get up and run around for us, but he does. It's like, he didn't seem in bad condition. And that's the other thing. Someone, he could have just got away from someone's apartment or jumped out of their car. And it's why it's so important to microchip. I sound like a PSA, but it's so important. It just, it helps, you know, microchip will have all the information. So when it comes into the shelter, they can scan and get the info and call you. This is his third day here now. So he's almost out of his stray holding period. At this shelter, five days stray hold. Since the owner is unknown, it gives a family five days to come find him. It wouldn't surprise me if they still came. Then maybe they're calling, you know, vet offices and and shelters and rescues. I hope. And by the time we put this video out, it takes me uh, a couple days. He'll be available for adoption. But hopefully, if you follow the link, it says return to owner. <laughs> um, hopefully, but I suspect he will need a home. Huh, bud? Were you trying to go in and get a snack at the grocery store? I have treats for you right here. If he was trying to go get a snack, what do you think he was trying to get? If I was a dog, I'd be trying to get cheese, I think. Peanut butter. The beef jerky. Oh, yeah, beef jerky, maybe. He's not less or more comfortable with me sitting here. No, that's not true. He is more comfortable with me sitting here. Because you saw when I first stepped in, I'll play that where my foot stepped down. It was just like... Oh, how do I get away and where can I go? And now he's not, he's not doing that. So that is small progress. But that's what we need. We just need little bits. I just need that crack in the door where I can get my foot in there and go, Hey, I love you. <laughs> now, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to scratch his head and I'm going to try to get my hand behind that wall. So he's off that wall a little bit. And then we're going to tell him some good things. And if it works out, we're going to try the scoop. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it's a good doggy. Yeah. Yeah, let's flip that ear over for you. Oh, it sticks straight up. <laughs> Stick. Oh, no, I got to show everyone this. Look at that little ear. That's not the wall. That's his ear sticking up. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Hi. I need you to know something. I know you're pretty new to this world, but you are a good boy. Oh, he felt that. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. And none of this is your fault. And whether you got lost or someone put you down and said, we don't want you, I want you to know that has nothing to do with you. And it is, it is not your fault. And you are a good dog. And you deserve better. And the good thing is your future is looking bright. This right now is the hardest part. This is the hardest moment. From here, it only gets better. Okay? So you made it. You made it through that, and you're going to be okay because you're a good boy. You're a good boy. The arm just kind of relaxed a little bit. You're a good boy. You know that? Good boy. You're a good dog. That's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good boy. Hi. The scoop. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry you've been through this, and it's going to be okay. And you are shaking, and that's okay. It's like frozen, you know? Hey, let's find that spot. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, you're a good boy. Yeah, the shaking is just so extreme that we're just going to sit here for a minute and let him calm down. Yeah, it's okay. The thing with lap dogs, too, is like the treats may not go very far right now but this could go a long way because they're just you know they're just comforted in the comfort of your lap <laughs> it's why they're lap dogs you know hi bud but just the the fear right now so bad that we've just got to spend a minute together the good thing about this is like sitting with dogs Sometimes if I ever publish the full videos, like they're long, they'd be long <laughs> and 
And while you probably enjoy spending some time with me and the dog, you might go, okay, well, I got to go to work, <laughs> you know, but I could sit here with him all day long, all day long. And, you, you know, one thing we can do it with him is just make a participatory. I say that right? Participatory. Hey, did Alexis, didn't you say we have some mail from people? Even though I told you guys, do not send it to the shelter. We we need to set up a post office box because these turkeys are going to keep sending here, even though I tell them not to. I'll put a I'll put a post office box in the description. Yeah, I'll do it. I love the mail. I just don't like the management of the post office box. And then if we go to the post office, if I don't check it for a while, then the postal guy like there's nothing worse than getting in trouble from the mailman. You feel like you're like back in the principal's office when the mailman's like, "Hey, what's all this mail?" <laughs> hey, little buddy. Hi, you good boy. We got to give him a name too. Before we read this fan mail, um, we got to give him a name. I'm thinking something from the grocery store. Since we found him at Albertsons, Albert would be a pretty cute little name. I like Albert. <laughs> I really like Albert. Albert. Oh. Let's try it. Albert. You're a good boy, Albert. You're a good boy. Yeah. I'll grow into it. Okay, Albert, you want to read some fan mail with me, buddy? You probably he's only one, so you probably know how to read. <laughs> the mail on the oh, we got goes with this. Okay, and this is completely separate. Okay, We've got a couple pieces here. Look at that, you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, okay, let's do let's do this. We have something here. We have a present, buddy. Albert, we have a present. Let's see, let's read the letter first, and then we'll look at the present. Okay, this sh uh. The sheets are for the puppies and kittens. The shirt is for Rocky. Uh, my girlfriend, better half, <laughs> I can relate, uh, not to having a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I have a wife, <laughs> but I'm saying to having a better half. Let me just clarify that. Kelly's not here today, so if she watches the video, Kelly, I love you. Uh, <laughs> you, see, you hear the fear in my voice too there, guys. Uh, watch all the sitting. Uh, yeah, we watch all the sittings with dogs and uh, have thought about a couple of them. The shirt was thought of from Bobby's video. One with, oh, Bobby, yeah. Uh, Rocky moved a little fast. He said, stay cool, Rocky. <laughs> and, then, and then, as always, the swoop. Keep up the great bits. Okay, I'm excited to see this shirt now. Albert, you want to see the shirt? Remember. <laughs> That's awesome. Remember, stay cool, Rocky. <laughs> and, then, then, and then the scoop. Do the scoop. I love, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry. Big blue. Um, that's awesome, guys. Speaking of shirts, by the way, I really like making things. And I, I don't know. It's just like I've found my place in life with you guys. Like with dogs, absolutely. Just I've always done that. But this community, like, I totally understand when people say I like dogs more than people. I get it. But I like people too. Like I like dogs and people. And I really like you guys in this community we've built and everyone that's becoming like whether you're here or you've become a member, which is really fun. That's that's growing and really neat. Uh, so I'd love to have you as, as a member. And we do fun things and I like private videos and you're the first to know things. So hit the join button for sure. When it comes down to it, helping dogs, helping others, it really is simple. It's hard in the fact that you have to take the time to go do it. You have to, you have to, you know, get out of your routine for the day. You find out that there's a lot of stuff in your life that holds you back. Past traumas, guilt, whatever it may be. Uh, because if you come into this kennel and you're showing love to dogs and you make yourself vulnerable, you will find out quite a bit about yourself. All of that goes into making of these shirts, these with dog shirts, because life is better with dogs. And so, so a lot of you have been getting them and, and then you'll send me pictures, you'll tag me on social, I'll see you about it in public. And that's unbelievable. I just lose it. I stay cool, Rocky, right? I try to stay cool. I probably won't if I see you wearing a shirt out in public. But anyways, all of that to say, it, it's not just a, it's not something I just throw up online and go, yeah, yeah, okay, you can buy that this with dog shirt means something and if you get this you're a part of this community and and you believe that every dog deserves a loving home like i do so um i'll link it you can go get a shirt but all of that said um this is really kind um and what it let me what are their names again 
They didn't. They, they, they didn't put their names oh. in kind of anonymous. Guys, if you if you see this, comment, and um, I'll pin your comment to the top of the video if I see it. Remember, stay cool. Do you see how Albert is just fine with hanging out? Like, that's the thing. When you're, when you're struggling and things are tough, you don't want to be the focus. Like, that's the magnifying glass, right? <laughs> Fun. Thank you. Whomever sent this. Okay, we have another. We ha Albert, we have another letter. Albert, let's see if you want a treat. Albert, you're a good boy. You want a treat, Albert? You're a good boy. I'm going to leave it right there for you, bud. Okay? Feel free to check it out. You're sniffing it. That's good. That sniffer's working. That's a good thing. This is from, okay, uh, North Carolina. Wow. Uh, I love your show. Sitting with dogs. Both of you, your wife, uh, you're, you're sweet with them poor babies. I saw this poem somewhere and I copied it. Okay. Thinking maybe someone would type it and hang on to the shelter to get people uh, to see that love. Hope you like it too. I sent it to the address where um, you order dog food, et cetera. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not, you're not in trouble, but I am going to, I am going to put up a post office box. Here's, the, here's the poem by an unknown author, Albert, we're going to, I'm going to read you a poem, buddy. They always seem to pass me by. I never knew the reason why. All my friends had found a home and only I remained alone. But finally, someone came and spoke to me with gentle tones, hardly dared to believe it true. And, and to my human's arms, I flew. Our first embrace. My heart beat fast, a family of my own at last. And when tonight I rest my head in my new warm and cozy bed, a prayer I'll send high up above. May all the shelter pups find love. Albert, as for you, buddy. What do you think? Uh, Karen, thank you for sending that. Okay, if you guys want to send mail and we want to do uh, doggy mail time, I will put the uh, address in the description below. Now we got to run and set up a post office box quickly. I'll just get the one. I'll just get one closest to the shelter so we can swing by there on the way here. Good, good boy. I have some really good news. He's not shaking anymore. The shake is gone. Like you can't see that in the video. But I can feel it, and there's just like a calmness that came over me, and that just happened through mail time. That makes me really happy. He's not shaking anymore. He's been shaking for 30 minutes straight the whole time. And he's looking around. He's checking out his environment. It's crazy what just a little love and comfort can do, huh? I, that's, that's wild. That gives me hope right there. He's going to make an amazing dog for somebody. My treat. Here you go, bub. Here you go, bubba. You thought about it that time, at least. That's good. That's good. That's good. Albert, I love you, buddy. Look at this little guy. I mean, I would take him everywhere with me. Like, we, I would not travel without this. Fit under the seat. Easy, too. And he's a year, so he's, it's not like he's going to get bigger. How much does, do they say he weighs? I'd say, like, nine pounds, maybe? They have them anywhere from two to 35 pounds, but I, you know. <laughs> I think it's neither of those, um, but okay, somewhere between that. He's, he's about nine pounds. He's, you know, 10 at most, but he's in good shape. I hope his family comes to find him, but I guess I leave it up to you. What do you think? Do you think he was abandoned? You think that, that it's, he's lost and his family's going to come get him? I need to know. The biggest thing you can do is share this because your share could lead to him finding a forever home. And make sure you subscribe so you can we can keep you up to date on things. Like I will link his pup date video when it comes out. Hopefully, it's a happy adoption story. So uh, we do updates through pup date videos. He keeps looking at the tree like he wants it. Yeah. But he's not brave enough yet. Yeah. Like he keeps looking and licking his lips like he wants to eat it. Yeah, I I think the neat thing. It really does make me tear up a little bit. Like, gosh, that like, it's just like that relief when you cry and it feels good, you know, like that, that we were able to make that transformation in shot short of 45 minutes or however long, what's it say? Yeah, 45 minutes and eight seconds. Um, oh my gosh, I'm that's wild. That is wild. But Albert, I love you, man. I, that That little courage, that brave little step you took right there, just shows how giant you are right like the fact that that you're 10 pounds but 
going on Great Dane size with that bravery makes me so happy. It's we have so much to learn from dogs. Like I know I say that again and again, but just that courage, that leap of faith that he's taking, the the willingness to trust this random dude that just came and sit and sat in his kennel. We have a lot of YouTube subscribers. Did you know that? He didn't even know that. And he's still trusting me. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Albert. You're a good boy. Oh gosh. Oh, I want to take him home so bad. But he the thing is, is like we'll he's going to be so great in the in the family that adopts him or or if his family comes to find him and then he can tell him the story and say yeah i was shown comfort there like i was shown love let's get you some more treats buddy yeah i know these treats are good because i make them at my bakeries is that not small enough oh, oh you're already getting some preferences that's funny <laughs> his little personality is already showing he's like yeah, smaller bites, please. Mini. Good boy. Let's see, we're gonna try the open hand now and see if you'll take it out of my hand. That's big trust. That that's that's the that next level trust right there. Yeah. We'll make a bunch of little pieces and let him eat. Because he might he might, you know, he probably is really hungry. It has been eating from the fear. Listen to his cute little chomps. Thanks, Albert. I love you, buddy. Cute little toe beans. You're licking me, give me kisses. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for trusting me enough to show progress, buddy. I want to take him home with me. But... I'm just like you guys. I he's not off the five day hold, <laughs> and I can't adopt a dog. But in case you haven't heard about Flips Farm, I started a rehabilitation farm, and I'm growing coffee on that farm in Southern California. And you say, "Well, that's kind of wild. I didn't even know you could dr grow coffee in America." Well, there are you know Hawaii, uh, Puerto Rico. But also, there are a handful of us farmers trying to grow coffee in California. It's not easy, but it's fun. And what's neat about that is when you buy the coffee, it helps support Flips Farm. So we're building little tiny houses on, on there. And that way we get to take the hard case dogs and help them. If it costs money, fine. If, it, if they need time, fine. Whatever it takes. Now, it's not a sanctuary where that's where they stay forever. The goal is to rehabilitate them and get them adopted but it's without a time restraint if it takes them however long we let them decompress and be uh healthy and happy when they go into the home so very excited about that i will put the coffee right here you can go buy it and you're support supporting flips farm after my late dog flip that helped rehabilitate and foster dogs his legend lives on through us so go get some coffee and by the way it is the best coffee in the world I'm obviously a little biased, but like I spent years working on this. The the coffee is, has been growing for years. The roaster we're using right now, the beans are not from our farm right now. Uh, our harvest will come up and we'll let everyone know about that. But the roasting profiles, we spent an entire year working, perfecting the roasting profile. So it is an amazing, delicious coffee at a good price, by the way. You, you don't have to spend, like you shouldn't break the bank to buy coffee. Avocado toast? Yes. Coffee? 